Hey everyone, my name is Erin Gifford and I am back again with another new Illustrator tutorial. So this one is seemingly quick and easy, but it is a big time saver if you haven't used it already. So what I'm going to show you today is how to easily select a large group of the same color in your design and then switch it to a different color. Um, you can do it manually, which takes forever, or you can select all of the same color at the same time and switch it all at the same time. So let's just dive right in. I have this pattern um, that I downloaded or purchased from Adobe Stock, I believe, and I love it, except it doesn't, the colors don't really go with the theme that I want. Um, I want a little less red, red and pinks, and I want more blues and teals. So um, I purchased it anyway because I know that I can change it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so I'm not going to do anything with the background because I like that blue, but I want to tone down some of this, some of these red, and, reds and pinks. So I'm going to just pick a spot and I'm going to pick this like salmon color. And now I could, like I said, go through and manually select each little spot, but I'm not going to do that. There's an easier way. So make sure you're on your direct selection tool, the white filled in white arrow and um, pick your color. I pick the salmon color. And once you have a color selected, go up to select and then down the same. And in this case, since it's just, if you look over here, filled with the salmon color, there's no stroke. We can just do same fill color. So as you can see, it has automatically selected every single piece of the artwork that has that same color makeup. So I'm going to switch all the salmon colored pieces to more of a teal and you can change the color um, through your swatches. Like if you have a custom um, set of swatches that you want to use, go ahead and use those or you can use the color um, sliders or the color spectrum um, below. So I'm going to just start with my swatches and I'm going to change that to this really pretty teal. There we go. Um, okay, then I'm going to pick another shade. So let's do this brighter red. So I found bright red and then I'm going to go up to select and down to same and again just the fill color. And let's replace that with a little bit more of a muted teal. And then this pink is bugging me. So select same fill color. And let's change that to blue. So I've already toned down the pinks and obviously I'm going to go in and, and do some more, get rid of more of the red, but you, you get the idea and you can do, what's cool is you can do the same thing if the artwork had a stroke on it, you can change just the stroke. So let's pretend that this lighter salmon color has a stroke on it. So now you have a fill and a stroke. You could um, do select, same, fill and stroke, and it would select just those pieces that have that same fill color and stroke color. And you can do just the stroke. You can do just the weight of the stroke. Um, there's lots of different options. So if you had a bunch of objects with a blending mode, a similar blending mode, you could choose blending mode. Or if they have the same appearance, like they have the same um, drop shadow, that is an option as well. So play around with it, have fun. I hope that this saves you tons and tons and tons of time and unlocks some creativity. Thanks for watching.